Relative Atomic Mass, Copper, by kscience.com. Copper has two stable isotopes, Cu63 and Cu65. The blue circles will represent copper 63 atoms and the pink circle will represent copper 65 atoms. In any sample of copper, there is an abundance of 69.2% copper 63 atoms. This just means of all the copper atoms in the sample, 69.2% of them are copper 63 atoms. Whereas there's an abundance of 30.8% copper 65 atoms. This particle diagram represents any sample of copper. It shows how 69.2% of the sample is made up of copper 63 isotopes and 30.8% of the sample is made up of copper 65 isotopes. You can see how both isotopes exist in the sample and the majority of copper is made up of copper 63 isotopes. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Having two atomic masses of each isotope in the periodic table for copper would be very confusing, considering all samples of copper contain these two isotopes. Therefore, we need to calculate the relative atomic mass of the two isotopes to gain an average mass that we can put in the periodic table. The equation to calculate the relative atomic mass is the sum of isotope abundance multiplied by the isotope mass number. We then divide this by 100. If you learn this equation, calculating the relative atomic mass of any isotopes will be very easy. We're now going to use the data above to calculate the relative atomic mass of copper. 69.2 multiplied by 63 plus 30.8 times 65 divided by 100. To make things clearer, this is 4359.6 plus 2002 divided by 100. This is 6361.6 divided by 100. This equals 63.616. To round this to one decimal place like we see in the periodic table, the answer is 63.6. Therefore, the average mass of both isotopes is 63.6. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.